So what I'd like to show you and explain in this video is that a new accessory which I received recently for my Sony AX100 video camera. This accessory is the Kokin filter hoarder A series which is the smaller one and then the smaller A holder is a perfect fit for this uh, 62 millimeters lens filter thread camera. The filter hoarder dimensions are almost exactly the same as the lens hood that came with the camera itself. The advantage of this filter holder is that you can easily adapt and apply different filters. The most important of these filters, in my opinion, for this camera is this graduated ND filter. This is the Kokin A121S. S means that this is a soft transition filter. And then the way you are expected to use this graduated filter is that simply apply into the holder and then you can adjust according to your requirements. That is only when a small section of the sky want to be filtered out you can grab and pull up and down. This is a one inch sensor camera and outside shooting when you the, when you want to increase, let's say, so the dynamic range of your shooting, the harsh skylight or should be somehow darkened out. The built-in ND filters, which this camera has, are not this graduated, of course they apply to the entire scene. So that is the whole image. The entire image is darkened. Actually not the image is darkened, but the incoming line to, uh, towards the sensor are diminished and reduced in order to be able to maintain the iris, the preferred iris which shouldn't go beyond 5.6 on this camera, or maximum F80 or you can also this provides us the possibility to maintain the correct shutter speed which in this camera because this is an European version is almost always 50. The main advantage and the big feature of this camera is 4K and this 4K image is brutally awesome and 4K 25 FPS so that is typical shutter speed for this camera, ideal uh, keeping the 180 degrees rule is 1 50th of a second. When you have a scene where the sky, and typical, typically this camera is outside or control light situation, but when you don't have the option, of course when the sky is too harsh and light, with this graduated filter you can somehow mitigate, that is you can expose in a proper way, that is the sky can be somehow preserved and they are not overblown. So that's the reason, one of the reasons. And this filter hoarder is quite useful because then you can remove this, the hood shade itself and you can just simply use these uh, filters, very easy to remove the filters to have directly. You can also apply another filters and this is a circular polarizing filter. This is the Pola A164 and then the way you can apply into this camera is just apply in the internal part and then you can rotate it as you wish and then you have a polarizing filter directly applied 
on your camera. And of course you can also combine polarizing filter with the graduated ND filter too. Yes, this is the way you can apply both of them. Even when the graduated filter and the filter is applied, you have the option to rotate the circular polarizer. So therefore, it's very nifty solution. And of course, you can apply the shade either, like so. There is another there is another possibility is uh, to apply another types of filters and this filter is the I think it is called tobacco filter and the number is Cochin A 125S and this tobacco filter is again a very nice, let's call it, a creative possibility to make your image look cool. Of course, this effect can be done in post-processing. Me, I don't really love spending too much time in post-processing and my objective is always to make the image, the video image, out of the camera directly applicable and usable and closer to the effect, the visual effect I am I after. So this is another possibility. This Koken series has a number of options. Or if you don't want to apply any filter, just use this filter holder as a sunshade. Like so, or you have two options, either to apply it on the outside. There is two so there are two slots and you can apply it in the internal slot. And then even when in the internal here, then you have the option of course to just insert your filter and there is one more thing here a quite simple thing that uh, the landscape this is what I'd call a kind of landscape here that because of some reason you want to apply just insert this landscape shield something like that and then it protects your lens. Usually I don't use it because I think my cocaine filter is just gives enough protection to the camera's lens itself. So that's the way I hold it. I have this camera in my bag. So, just enjoy your excellent and brilliant Sony AX100 camera.